Okay, with that said, we have a special thing today too. Um, and Hilalet would like to share in an exhortation where she is, a little bit about the, what the Lord has put upon her heart. And so with that said, I'm going to turn the floor over to Auntie Lele. Shaker. Thank you, Pastor. In the words of my mouth, the meditation of our hearts, be always acceptable in my sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, last Wednesday night, um, Bible study at the Kei Omalus was on 1 Corinthians 1, which Paul wrote for believers to live in unity with other Christians, regardless of our outward divisions, just like last night's praise concert. Why? So the world would see who we belong to, not Calvary Baptist Church, not Calvary Door of Faith, not Molokai Baptist Church, not Pastor Cameron's Church. We are one in Christ. Amen. How does he do this? Well, God uses foolish things that the world sees in order to shame those who think they are wise. And those of you who know me for any length of time, know where I fall down on that scale. Most of my life, I have thought I was wise, smarter than the average bear, <laughs> even from childhood. And God has dealt graciously with me for years. From time to time, I have stepped down from my high horse, but sometimes I still lose the plot, like Wednesday. And this was one of those times. Back to the Bible study. We were finished with the scripture study, eating dinner together and talking about Nalu from Nalo. Nalu is Pastor Joe and Martha's son, and he is at Job Corps in Waimanalo. And so we were discussing where Nalo is, actually, and our descriptions from those gathered were all over the place. <laughs> We sounded like the brilliant debaters from First Corinthians. <laughs> I even made fun. Hey, you can tell you guys don't come from Oahu, yeah? Waimanalo is not past Kualoa Ranch. <laughs> Nowhere near Chinaman's Hat. But did I stop to think where or ask where they were starting from? No, my direction started from Kulio O, where I used to live. You come out of the valley, turn left on Kalani Ono Oli Highway, go past Oikai, Coco Head, Hanamu Bay, Makapu, Sandys, and before you know it, you're in Waimanalo. Well, Uncle Herb's directions started in town. <laughs> go up Oli Highway, Go over and down to Castle Junction, on the way to Kailua, and hang a right onto Kamehameha Highway, past Enchanted Lakes, and boom, Waimanalo. We both know so much, right? I am so smart. But did we ask, where are you starting? No. Did I even pay attention? Joe and Martha were describing coming from the airport, which makes sense because they were coming from Molokai, right? <laughs> what they didn't say out loud is once you get your rental car, go east to the H3 on the way to Kaniogi over the Kokolau. They came from the opposite direction, people. <laughs> the H3 is new from when Herb and I lived on Oahu, but still yet, no excuse. We all needed a map of Oahu to see that Waimanalo is in the southeast corner of the island of Oahu. The places they described are way northeast. We all needed to be on the same page, united, of one mind, in thought and purpose, to make sense, is what Paul was writing about. We needed a map like the Bible is for us, 
to make us see things clearly, right? It shows us the way, reorients us, shows us true north. How can we share the good news if we're caught up being right and just going on what we think independently? Lost people are lost. They need a clear voice, speaking truth, giving directions. One that says, we're all in this together. Not a superior talking down and making fun of their lostness. Now that I think about it, maybe that's why Scotty would never stop and ask directions when he didn't know where he was. At one point, when he was driving on the mainland with our daughter, Amanda, who was a child at the time, she said to him, Dad, lost isn't a destination. <laughs> but he probably didn't want someone pointing out how foolish he was. We all want to feel wise. No matter how good our directions, if we start in the wrong place for where they are, they won't get there, and neither will we. Instead, we are supposed to be united on the same page. Why would anyone listen to me if I am giving them directions with attitude? If you want to boast, boast only in the Lord, and of course, he wasn't finished with me yet. I never learned that lesson by the time I left the KB Overalls. I went home. And I started my Portuguese bean soup for our Bible study the next night. I put all of the ham hocks and Portuguese sausage in my crock pot, filled it to the top, turned it on, went to bed. Did I think of how I was going to get it out of that pot and into the great big cauldron on my stove the next morning? No. With my tremors, I cannot move a heavy, full, hot crock pot liner over to the stove, lift it up, and pour it into our cast iron cauldron. I cannot even scoop staff out carefully without burning myself. Only then did I realize that I haven't made Portuguese bean soup since Scotty died. Mm. He did all those steps. Feeling foolish? You bet. And I don't know how to make a small recipe. So I put a call into Steve Walker, and he came over to help. And then, when I served the soup Wednesday, uh, Thursday night, Kanoi and Shai brought a loaf of homemade bread from Sisi. Oh no, despite my attitude, we do have every spiritual gift we need in the body of Christ. Thank God for me seeing the lesson for repentance and the wisdom of life. As scripture says, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and discourage the intelligence of the intelligent. Make sense? Amen. Amen. Amen.